It took ChatGPT two months to get 100 million users. As soon as BuzzFeed announced that they're now gonna start using AI for their content creation, their stocks went up by more than 200%. Even though I've been quite hesitant for a long time to start using any sorts of AI tools for my marketing job, I decided to give it a try after reading all of this insane news. And in this video, I want to tell you about the top five AI tools that save me more than 10 hours per week as a digital marketer. Number one, YouTube summary with ChatGPT. So this is a simple Chrome extension that is a freaking game changer. For example, let's take a look at this video. I wanna learn what makes a great manager, but I don't wanna spend the seven precious minutes of my life watching that. So with, again, literally one click, I get this super compact summary of what the video is about. So I estimated that on average, I save more than three hours per week by using this tool. Number two, Canva. First of all, background remover. I used to spend at least an hour on Photoshop with my super limited Photoshop skills to remove any background whenever I needed to crop myself out of a pic, for example, for a YouTube thumbnail or for any other visual material. So again, literally with one click, you get any background removed. Another amazing feature is their new text to image function. For example, we would need a simple LinkedIn post and of course we would need some nice visual to add to it. And there is no more need to send a Slack to your designer, this, you know, annoying last minute message requesting an image. So I can do it myself in a matter of like five seconds. Let's imagine that we would need a robot on a grass and we want to have a sunny day. I've got no idea what I'm typing, but let's just imagine that that's what we need. As you can see, the output is quite decent. And with Canva's magic design, you can describe the presentation you want and Canva will write and even design a draft for you instantly. I've given it a try also. To be honest, I was not completely satisfied with the result. I cannot claim that it's a ready-made template that I can use and in most cases I think it didn't look that pretty as I wanted, but at least it gave me a way of thinking that I can use when creating my own presentation. So Canva AI saves me at least one hour per week. Number three, Notion AI. Right now I'm doing a lot of research looking for a website builder because I want to create my own simple website. With Notion AI, I requested a simple table with all possible website builders, listing down their pros and cons and sorting it by price starting from the smallest. And just like that, I got a simple comparison table and I spent like two seconds on that. I also asked Notion AI to give me a simple checklist to consider when creating your personal website as a marketing freelance. In general, any project management related stuff can be easily optimized with Notion AI. Notion saves me at least an hour on project management. Video.ai helps you make short videos from your long ones instantly. Let's imagine that you need to create a video post for your LinkedIn out of your longer video podcast episode. So I decided to do the same for my YouTube shorts. So I took a longer video from my channel that performs quite well on the topic of growth marketing interview. And I decided to make a short clip out of it. Normally I spend at least an hour or so doing that myself with Premiere Pro, but with this tool, I would say it was indeed really fast. Of course, I had to add a few touches myself. I adjusted the font a little bit and in general moved some parts of the video to make it look a bit uh, prettier. The way it recognizes your speech is super accurate. So I estimated that I save at least two hours per week by using this tool. ChatGPT, of course, you can find tons of use cases for ChatGPT on the web. I use GPT occasionally for social media posts, for video script creation. And what I can say is that I've noticed that it doesn't work that well when you ask it to create a whole thing. So for example, to create an entire video script, I would say the output is always quite superficial and still requires a lot of extra work. 
but if you beforehand break down your article, your blog content, whatnot, into a specific table of content, and then you ask ChatGPT to create script for each of these uh, bullet points separately, in that case, it works incredibly. To me, sometimes, Working with ChatGPT is like having a therapist session when at first you are a little bit hesitant to open up, but as soon as your therapist asks you more and more follow-up questions, you get to open up more. The amount of alternatives that you can get just for one paragraph for your blog article, for example, is incredible. I estimated that on average, ChatGPT saves me at least three hours per week for written content creation. Now, if you want to find out whether AI is going to steal all of our jobs or not, I highly recommend you checking out this next video on my channel about the jobs of the future. Thanks a lot for watching. As usual, see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.